Rename on type allows you to rename elements just by typing in a file. Now today, it's primarily enabled in VS Code's HTML support, where you can use it to quickly rename tags, and it's not enabled by default. So let's open up the settings with Control comma or Command comma on Mac to enable it. So open up the settings here, and I'll say rename on type, and I want this editor rename on type setting here. I'll go and enable this. Again, it's off by default. Now in this HTML file, let's say I want to rename one of the tags here. So convert this H1 into an H2 or something like that. Now I could go and edit both locations. Um, I could actually use the normal rename command. So I could press F2 and trigger a rename here. So let's go and enter the new name here. So we'll do H2. And you can see that VS Code has automatically updated things there. But with the rename on type setting, what I can do is actually when I have my cursor here, and let's so, so I move my cursor up into the uh, opening tag, all I have to do is start typing and the closing tag will also be updated. So if I wanted to convert this H2 into an H3, just hit delete. You can see that the closing tag is updated. Type a three, the closing tag is updated again. And now we've just automatically renamed things. No need to explicitly trigger the rename in this case. You can make more advanced renames as well. So here I've selected the selection or section tag here, and it's automatically selected the closing tag as well. We get this kind of darker colored selection that is previewing where the rename itself will take place. Now I can just type in the new name. So I can do article, for example. And you can see that VS Code has automatically renamed the closing tag here as well. So you can use this to really quickly modify tags. I can go in here and let's just do span. And I've very easily been able to rename things just by typing in the file. Again, rename on type is not enabled by default, and it's not available in all languages, but I find it's especially helpful when rewriting HTML. So that's a quick look at rename on type in VS Code.